Hi, we're here with Rick Vandenbosch of uh, Vandenbosch Greenhouses. You grow exclusively beefsteak tomatoes, and uh, you're unique because you have a geothermal system. What can you tell me about that? Yeah, we are um, the first grower in the Netherlands who uses geothermal energy. It's uh, energy from uh, deep down. Uh, we drilled two times, uh, almost two kilometers deep, wow. to a reservoir, an aquifer with uh, with a temperature of uh, 65 degrees. Uh, we pump, centigrade. Yeah, we uh, yes, centigrade. Um, we uh, use that heat uh, to uh, to heat the ground, the greenhouse all year and um, we reduced uh, the energy savings uh, with 80 percent. Wow, so you have steel tubes that go down two kilometers, pick out the hot water, extrapolate energy from that and then return it at a much cooler temperature. Yes, because the, yeah, deep down in the center of the, of the earth uh, it's very warm and it gives uh, the, the heat to the, to the out outside and um, so every 100 me of 1,000 meters you go deeper you go uh, 86 degrees Fahrenheit warmer. Uh, we had an aquifer here around uh, 2,000 meters deep, and uh, so if you go yeah, 1,000 meters deeper, you have uh, you have that amount uh, warmer. Even even warmer. Yeah. Now we're inside the greenhouse, and one of the questions I'd like to ask you is, how did you get into geothermal in the first place? Uh, we had a, a use of uh, natural gas, and uh, it became more and more expensive. Uh, then we looked for an alternative, and uh, yeah, the best alternative is, uh, was for us geothermal energy. It's, uh, in the long term it's cheap, it's very clean because it's, uh, uh, it, it doesn't pollute anything. Uh, did you obtain a subsidy to build the geothermal system? Yes, uh, it's a very expensive uh, initial investment. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, these kind of projects start with six to seven million euro. Uh, we got a subsidy of one and a half million euros that are really good sub subsidies because it's directly with the investment you, uh, you get it. Do you have any idea about what the return on investment period might be? Yeah, it's really important to, uh, to compare with something and uh, if the gas prices are like this, I think it's 8 to 10 years um, uh, and this is a midterm of a mid uh, prices. Uh, okay. We have seen them uh, much higher but also uh, yeah, it's, it's various with, with the oil price.